The Integration Joint Board here in the Borders has been in place for about two and a half years now and it's responsibility to oversee the partnership of services that operate within health and social care. Those are services delivered by the Council but also by NHS Borders itself. It also encompasses the work of our voluntary sector which is thriving here in the Borders. In the main, our concern is that the older population of over 75s will increase by about 120% by the year 2036. Now that's fantastic news for everybody, in fact that we can live longer and our services are helping people do that. However, people over 75 can have a number of complex health conditions which require more services to be delivering for them. Now we cannot ask our health partners to continually grow and grow. There is a responsibility that we have as citizens here within the borders to be able to look after ourselves. We're blessed within the borders of having access to some fantastic communities in all of our towns and localities. We have many, many activities and societies and clubs that people can take part in and all of them have a role to play in health. We have a direct relationship between uh, participation in these activities and the fact that people can actually improve their health outcomes. The Integration Joint Board at its inception introduced the strategic plan to lead the work across the whole of this partnership. Now it's taken time to review that strategic plan and look forward to what's actually necessary over the forthcoming three to five years and with that plan it's got three very simple objectives is to improve the health of the population overall. That's our first objective. Secondly, is to help patient flow through the hospital or through any health service that they actually require. And the third objective is once they've received that support from any of these health services, that there is a capacity within our communities to maintain uh, the care of our population. Now, after individuals have had uh, a visit to a hospital or a GP, we want to be able to help our communities look after them to make sure that they don't have to return to hospital.